What's going on everyone? My name is Shady and welcome to Rise Insanity. It's a new uh I don't know how many it is. It's new to me. Um it's a new horror game Cut that. Anyways, um but yeah, it's a psychological horror game that uh that I found on Steam. It looked pretty interesting. So we're gonna get into it and hopefully get some good scares out of it. Why I'm doing this, but anyways, I'm doing it for the people. I'm doing it for the people. Let's go with that. Yep, I love the people. <laughs> oh god, my headphones got stuck in my wheel. And as you can see, I'm actually sitting down with my VR headset today. Um, it's not necessary for you to play this game in VR, but you can play it to have a more immersive feeling. Um, me, I'm crazy enough to do it in VR. And it is very dark around here other than what's right in front of me. So we're gonna start this out This contains scary scenes of sudden increase in tension people with heart and epilepsy Problems should not play authors do not take responsibility. See I couldn't even read the whole thing. What the heck? I hate when games do that. I swear to God Keep calm I'm Relax. sitting on the couch and calm down Calm all your senses my name is is Dr. Stephen Dowell. Okay, where are you? We're here because your disorders started to get out of control. You ceased to behave normally, and disturbing thoughts took control of you. Well, that's rude. You will undergo my original therapy. I will show you the film I created. And at the end, you will tell me what feelings you have while watching it. Hold up, one so second before you continue. I need, I think I should turn on subtitles for you people, you people that are watching. All right. Thing okay, birds, trees, clouds, more birds, more birds, oh. Okay. Ooh, go back, hold up, hold up, go back to that. I wanna see that. Oh, I need some Dracula, bird, lion kissing, no lion, Hearted. okay, okay, I don't know if you guys can see me or not, I don't know how far away I can be, oh, is that a snake, what's going on, okay, data. Edward, 41 years old, day September 1st. I know Edward as far back as I remember. He worked as a gardener in our neighborhood. From the preliminary interview, I got to know that he suffers from a dream disorder. He has constant nightmares and can't sleep well, mm -hmm. as well as a memory disorder. Sometimes he doesn't remember what happened a couple of days or hours ago. I have some suspicions connected with this case, but it's too early for the detailed diagnosis. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys are experiencing this on your uh, when you're watching or not, but on my thing here, it looks like the word the subtitles are actually too close to the lens. So I'm seeing like a doubling effect. That's just me. I don't know if that's a bug on VR or if that's just a bug in the game or not. Anyways, if it is, I do apologize, but I did turn it on just to see if it was okay for you. I did turn it on for you guys. Hopefully, you guys can read it. All right. Patient Edward. Do people really spell their name Edward with two Ds? I have, I don't know anybody that spells their name Edward like that. I don't know. Oops, sorry. I don't know anybody that does that. All right. Interview, their initial diagnosis. Uh, 
test a new therapy and waiting for results. Seems simple enough. And there's nothing in there, just a bunch of files. He's more important with that one versus the other one. Alright, so is there, ooh, that's creepy. You know, I don't understand why people get bookends looking like that, because that's creepy as heck. I would hate to walk in this room in the dark and have that on my bookshelf. I would hate that. Let me know if, what you guys think. What's in here? Oh, great. See, now that's another there. See, I told you. It is creepy as heck to have that in um, your bookshelf. As soon as you open these doors, I did not even know that was there until I saw it. Alright, we'll just close that up. Oh, rubber ducky! Rubber ducky, you're the one. Alright. <laughs> Why is there a random rubber ducky somewhere in this office? That's heck of random. You don't even know. Oh god. Was that supposed to squeak? Was that supposed to squeak? Am I just looking for... Are these hidden in throughout the entire game? Is just random rubber duckies that I'm picking up for no reason at all? What was this? Alright. So, here's a question for all of you people that are watching this video. What do you think that is? Me, personally? Hmm. Do I give you a fake answer or... Or the real answer, because my real answer is kind of rude. Or no, inappropriate, we'll go with that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> but anyways, yes, it looks like a bat. We'll go with that, it looks like a bat. Yes, just for the kids out there, it looks like a bat. But between you and me, no, I'm playing. Not gonna, no, I'm not gonna go there. Not gonna go there. But tell me what you guys think that what, that that looks like in this in the comments below. Let me know. I would love to hear your guys' answers. There's a ball in here that looks like a candy. Alright, we'll just close that right back up. Ooh, what's this? It's a picture of uh, a couple with a baby. And it's really close to my face, so I had to really step back a little bit so I can see it. Alrighty then. We'll just close that right back. I don't want to see that again. All right, that's the whole problem with me being six foot tall. I swear to God, I'm super tall right now. Hold on, let me adjust my height configurations. I don't know if, if it's me or what, but I feel like, oh, I can't even adjust it here. Yeah, I can't even adjust it here. Oh, well. All right, well then, it's fine. Wait, am I still facing forward? I am still facing forward, okay. I am really tall. Me, I am only like five. Me personally, I'm only like five nine, five five ten, five eleven, somewhere around there. But anyways, um, yeah, I am really tall right now. This is insane. Is this is this is this how how tall people look? Like seriously, they have to pretty much slouch over these door frames. I swear to God in order to not bump their head on it. All right. There's a car here. And it looks like it's broken. All right. What's over here? You know, this would have been a perfect place to put something scary, like some, some kind of jump scare. But why are all these rooms, like, taped up? So there's one over there, one over there. And I believe there's one... I swear I saw one over here. I guess I was wrong. Um, nothing in there, it looks like. Oh, it's the same room. Okay. Dr. Dole launches his new new experimental treatment method. Alrighty. That must be the movie thing that, that he showed me earlier, which actually was creepy. And I would hate to be subjected to that. 
especially if I was, um, <clears throat> oh, somebody broke that mirror. Is this a game where I'll actually see my reflection? The family's tragedy. A mother and child were murdered, and the violator oh, was- Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that is creepy. That picture behind me is, has black eyes, like it's a demon or something. Yeah, that's very creepy. Ooh, yeah. More crime tape. Crime tape. Let's see what's down here. There's nothing here. Alright. Whoa, this is very disorienting because I'm using actually the controller to turn around instead of me turning myself. I'm just turning my head basically. Um, and it's very disorienting. It's gonna take some getting used to. Betcha. I don't like that very much. Okay, looks like it's a music note box thingy. More music notes. Madness Symphony. Huh. Is this like some beatbox or something? What is this? Could be a, could be some form of language. I don't know. Wait a minute. Can I? No, you can't turn the page or anything like that. A lot of trophies. A lot of pictures. Just trying to explore everything, so I don't want to miss anything. Oh, what's this? Whoa, it's very, it's very close. Dear Mrs. Dowell, I remind you that you gave me a free hand about the development of one part of the garden, so I decided to plant most of it there. Are Delilah's? Wait, a minute. so I decided to plant most of the of it there. Are Delilah's? That uh, a sing as, as, bleh, I can't. I, I swear I know English, but big words I, I have trouble with. With a little bit, depending on the word. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the flowers of Clement. Clement? I can't really see it. As in, I'm also I'm also seeing somewhat of a double effect, like I was saying earlier about the subtitles. It's kind of weird. I can barely see it because I'm having to cross eye myself or shut one eye. Uh, Clementis? Uh, yeah, I think that's what it says, Clementis. Um, uh, I surrounded everything with white poppies. You will be delighted, bird. All right, so he planted some flowers in some garden somewhere. Probably somewhere where I won't be able to see it, maybe later on, I don't know. Is there a duck over here somewhere? Because I feel like those ducks are like Easter eggs or something. That's disgusting. I see flies over there. That's very disgusting. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. It actually looks like they're right in front of me and whatnot. Oh, God. They disappear after a while and then they come back. See, look at that. Weird. That's a bug. It should constantly be over that. That's weird. Honey, please turn off the TV. It's gonna be stormy. Don't. Don't. Mm mm. Nope. Nope. Not doing it. Not having it. Mm mm. What's this? Sweetheart. I don't think that says. That says darling. Darling. Darling! Remember that today you have to be on duty. Oops, sorry. No, that that that, that text is wrong. Cause it obviously is, says it with an exclamation mark, even. Darling. <laughs> All right, is there a duck in here? No duck. No duck. Quack quack. <laughs> Any duck in here? I would love to see a duck. 
No, no duck. All right, Theodore Dowell. English B, Mathematics A, Science A, P B. How do you fail? How do you get a B in P? It's very weird. Well, I can't really say much. But anyways, move on. Ethics A. Well then. All right. Just in case you can read that perfect cursory uh, handwriting. Here it is. Oh wait, I'm like it. Hey, here it is in the standard thing. All right, enough of that. Which I don't know who couldn't read English. I had to check to see I was oriented correctly. I was. Excuse you. You're gonna interrupt me that like that. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. I thought there was going to be something scary that's going to happen as soon as I turn off that TV. Am I talking with Dr. Stephen Dowell? No, you're talking to Shady. Sorry, the memes. Anyways, moving on. Patient Edward 41. Day, September 11th. Patient has told me about his dreams where he tries to murder his wife and child. As far as he said before, he's a bachelor, and he hasn't said anything about children. It could be some traumatic memory from his childhood. I have to get to know about it during our next meeting. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is a harder case than I expected. Some symptoms indicate that the patient can possess a multiple personality. But these are only suspicions. I have to ask my friend, Abraham. All right, then. Who's Abraham? Okay, it's nothing, it's not, I almost started saying nothing. Anyways, it's nothing certain. Please come to the morgue to help with the identification. Why would I need to go down to the morgue to identify something? It's just rude. All right, nothing here, nothing there. Dear Abraham. Wait, that's not how he sounds. But anyways, um, wait, let me. Am I, am I oriented correctly still? Yeah, I'm still oriented correctly. Let me just turn a little bit. That way I can actually read it correctly. Dear Abraham, sorry I haven't written you for so long. Because of family and job matters, I haven't gotten enough time. I hope you are okay. How is your wife, Berta? Now, I have a case of some patient, Edward Smeared. Edward Smeared. I love that name. That is an awesome name. Uh, 41 years old. He complains about some problems with sleeping as well as with memory. I noticed some small ticks. Sometimes he moves suddenly and he moves his small left hand finger. Anyways. <laughs> uh, he told me his nightmares that still tires him. He told me about his nightmares that still tires him. It's an, in its own, wait, it's an only dream. That doesn't even make sense. It's only, it's the only dream he remembers. He says he tries to kill his wife and child. He cannot do that because constantly, he constantly wakes up before he accomplishes it. It is strange because Edward is a bachelor and he doesn't have any children. What do you think about that? I think that these are the beginnings of schizophrenia or multiple personality disorders. But still, you have more experience in psychopathology. Best regards, Stephen Dowell. Alrighty then, what's in here? Ooh! Ducky! It was nice to see you, Ducky. Wah, wah. <laughs> oh god. That's still terrifying. Just a random duck being any anywhere in the, this place. It's just terrifying. Alright. So. Oh dear. like this one bit. Nope, don't like 
with this one damn bit. I'll tell you what. And we are in a morgue or a hospital. No, the, we are in a hospital, obviously. It says hospital up there. But anyways, um, yeah, there's a dead body in there, and it's not looking too pretty. Yeah, no. Wait, isn't there a door right here? I can't even go in it. Alright. That is the eyeball. Start ducking these bowls again. I think there's something wrong with the bowls because it doesn't look like there's anything on the bottom of them at all. But anyways, moving on. You know, if I wasn't too pro, I'll go with that. <laughs> anyways, if I wasn't so pro, I would actually be scared about coming over here. Mother and her seven-year-old son murdered. And in case you can't read that, there it is right there. Anyways, move on. You know, I'm getting really bad vibes of, or really bad um, uh, deja vu of, of uh, paranormal activity. That's what it is. Yeah, I had a little bit of trouble saying that. Anyways. But, uh, yeah. I'm having really bad vibes right now. And I'm getting deja vu of paranormal activity. Which is not good because that was a very frightening game. In which case, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to actually finish that. Because of the fact that I have to actually start over the game to get all those pieces and to the puzzle so I can open up the final door, which is so stupid. Anyways, I don't want to get into it. Just leave it at that. I'm so mad at that, though. Not okay. Well then. All right. Well, it's just a hallway. Nothing scary so far. And let's go. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. No 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 no. Oh. No 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 no. Will. Mm mm. Mm mm. I gotta move on. <sighs> keep it together, keep it together, I got this. But I would really... Ooh, hmm. Maybe I'll save that for another time, baby. Alright, let's just keep going. I... Oh, no. Can you not pop when I'm walking down this hallway? Please? I'm not going in these rooms. Mm -mm. You can't make me. Well, actually, I stand corrected. You guys could make me, but that would require you to actually like the video. Nope, nope. Not going in there. Not going in there. Nope. What's this? A key to her heart is... Look. You know, I thought I heard something out of this ear. Not gonna lie, I, I swear to you, I heard something on this side. I might see about actually upping the volume at that point for you guys, just so you can hear what I heard. Assuming that I, yeah, assuming that you can't hear it uh, or whatnot. But that was creepy as hell. I thought it was something right next to me here. 
Not gonna lie. Alright. I gotta calm down a little bit because that was creepy as hell. I'll tell you what. And I gotta stop cussing because I don't want to get <coughs> uh, limited ads on this thing. I need that ad revenue. <laughs> to, to make to, so that way I can get equipment to make these videos a lot better. I need that ad re re revenue. Anyways, moving on. A key to her heart is located where your journey began. Not to mention, too, I need 100, at least 1,000 a, a subscribers, but we will get, sorry, we will get to that later. I don't know if I'll get ad revenue even if I only have 60 subscribers. But, anyways. No, I'm not going there. Oh! No. You stay in there. Bad boy. <laughs> no. Nope, not going over there. Mm. Not checking it out. Oh. Oh, never mind. Alright, we're just gonna close these because I don't want nothing popping out. When I come back down. So that obviously said that I have to go back to where this area began, where I started at basically. I don't like this light bulb flickering. So far it hasn't been too bad, really. Just a few jump scares here and there and whatnot, that's about it. Oh, well, this is not where I began though. Um, this is where I began. Oh, I went to the wrong room. Let's see. Okay, this is new. Sticky note underscore two. That's not what it's supposed to say. It's supposed to say check eyesight and then some pair of glasses room six. It's not supposed to say sticky note underscore two. I think that's a bug. I don't even know how old this game is. Is it supposed to have bugs if it's old like this? I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe I'll check that later. So I'm in eyewear. Look for a key. And I bet you, ooh, yes. <sighs> I bet you there's gonna be a, some kind of jump scare when I go over there to that cabinet, because I bet you the key is there. You can't scare me! Nothing? Nothing at all? There's no key in here. All I see is tools. On the bed either, unless that lump is the key. Anyways, was that circled before? Six two nine. Alrighty then. Hey, was that a combination lock, or was that a? Key? It said key. It said the key. So I'm looking for a key, not a combination. I don't know. I didn't actually look at the lock. Um, but I, there's only two rooms that I can go into unless this one opened up. Um. Nope. Nope, that room's not open. And I'm not going towards that, those flies. So, it has to be a combination lock. Nope, I'm not going over there. That's creepy. It has to be a combination lock. I just looked in all the rooms, I looked everywhere for a key and I did not see a key. pop out at me while I'm walking down this hallway again. I have a 
bad feeling. My horror game experience has taught me that something is going to happen soon. Nope, not going in these doors. Nope, you can't make me. Well, no, no. I'm just going straight into this room. Oh, look at that. It is a locked door. What was it? 629? Six, two, nine. Okay, cool. So it was a combination lock. Why didn't it tell me that? Why couldn't it say the combination to her heart? Hmm? Why did it have to say the key? Because I was over here looking for a key, not a combination. This one bit. Okay, on this table. Yeah, my my spidey senses are telling me that something's gonna happen in this room. Spidey senses are tingling. No, that's the wrong tingle. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, no, no. But it's I'm I'm dead serious though. There's something gonna happen in this room right here. As soon as I go over to that candle, because that is pretty much the only light other than these lights here that is telling me that I need to go there. And then something, this body is gonna lift up its head. It's gonna just come to life or something for a minute. I already know it. I'm not turning my back on your ass. Mm -mm. Don't match. That's all it says. Oh. Just says don't match down below, but didn't tell me any more information than that. Oh! No. No. Go away. Be gone with you. We aren't taking no none of your crap today. No. Be gone with your Girl Scout cookies. Okay. Just be gone. No. We don't want any. And that's the only way out, unfortunately. I have to go that way. Oh my god, this is so bad. My heart is not going to be able to take something like this. <sighs> I got to compose myself. Brave. I'm a brave boy. I'm a brave boy. I got this. Oh. Oh god. No, just no, no, I'm, mm -mm. nope, not looking behind me, nope, 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 just got quiet all of a sudden, blood is literally dripping from the ceiling, and I am not looking up, because there's something above me, oh my god, I don't want to do this, With you, be gone with you. I swear to God, I don't want to tell you what I'm gonna do with this. Oh my god, I don't want to turn around. I really, really don't. But this is the only thing to do. I am literally shivering not really shivering, but I'm literally sweating my palms off right now because my palms are really sweaty and that's not even funny I really don't want to turn around I gotta compose myself compose myself I got this I got this I got this I'm a brave boy Oh my god, that was so bad.
I swear to God, some of you guys that have heart problems do not play this game in VR. I don't even know if it's a good idea to play it without the VR. It's so bad. That was the worst scare. If this is the beginning of the game, oh my god, you got so much more of this game. That is so bad. Am I still facing forward? I am still facing forward. I don't know if I'm in the webcam though. But that was so bad. Okay, I thought those were glowing. Like, literally glowing for me to pick up or something. Is there something here? Like, something I need to worry about? That was creepy as heck. Wait, this picture's not even on the wall. I like the rest of it. Is there something behind here? Huh? No. Okay. Is that the other picture? No, nope, this one's off the wall too. Something needs to be fixed about that. But I am sweating right now. My head and my palms are sweating because of that. Hall ordeal. What is this? Why can I touch the bird? Okay. I can turn. Okay, so what does that mean? I don't know what that means. And what are those? I don't even know what those are. <clears throat> Oh god, I can fly the bird. Oh, I can fly the bird with my head with my head. Oh shit! Don't do that. I hate that. This is cool, actually. I kind of wish they would make like a flight simulator like this, where you just fly through like stuff. This is really cool to like see through the eyes of an animal and experience what they see. That would be really cool. I think. Oh god. Hello? I'm still hearing the bird. Honey, gain control over him, please! Am I still in front? Yeah, I'm still facing front. Good. What in the world? I've never... What? This is new. I've never experienced a loading screen like this before. Hold up. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? Well, that was weird. I have never experienced a loading screen like that. I thought that was like some loading screen for like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's for an Android phone or something. That's what it looked like. <clears throat> All right, so I'm in some kind of creepy garden right now. And this is really not good. What do they have in store for me next? sort of diabolical genius would do something like this. Actually, this is actually a pretty nice garden. Oh. There's a baby over there. I'm not going that way because I hate I hate games that have babies in it. It's, well, never is good. I'll tell you what. Alright, let's see what's down this way. I found a creepy bridge. The creepy lake or river, one of the two. I don't know. Nope. Let's go over here. Okay. I feel like something's gonna happen here. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I don't know what I should do here. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to leave a comment down below. 
um, to tell me which way I should go. Either to the guy that's digging, digging what looks like a grave over there, or the baby. Whichever one has the most, uh, whichever suggestion has the most, I will go to that point. But right now, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I'm going to stop it here. Because I'm going to make you guys decide. So leave your comments down below telling me which way you want me to go. And I will do that. So, yeah, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a doozy. I already know it. And um, whew. that was man, I'm sweating right now. That was creepy as hell. Oh my god. I gotta stop cussing. I tell you what. Anyways, um, so yeah, leave your leave your likes and comments down below. I want to see us get at least. I don't know, 100 likes, just go with that, because I know we can probably do it, well, I don't know, um, so share this video with your friends and whatnot, get to that 100 likes, also leave your comments down below and let me know which side you want me to get to, um, as for my other things that I have planned for next week, uh, I've already got everything prepared, Everything's already set up and whatnot. I just missing one or two things, and but the main thing is already used, already already taken care of. Um, so look forward to that. It's gonna be fun. Um, well, maybe fun for you guys, but fun. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I might include something a little special before then. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Rise of Insanity, leave your likes and comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.